Welcome to the lesson on reflection of light. Lesson we will be able to explain reflection of light by plane as well as spherical mirror. Explain images formed by spherical mirror. No sign convention and mirror formula. See objects in the dark. We need light to see them. Objects reflect light that falls on it. and this reflected light when received by eyes enables us to see things and objects let's now study the phenomenon of reflection in detail there are two laws of reflection of light one the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection two the incident ray the normal to the mirror and reflected ray all lie in same plane all these laws of reflection are applicable to all types of reflecting surfaces plane mirror forms virtual erect equal and laterally inverted image of an object spherical mirror which is considered part of the surface of a sphere also forms images let's study these spherical mirrors in detail Spherical mirrors are of two types. One, concave mirror whose reflecting surface is curved inwards, and two, convex mirror whose reflecting surface is curved outwards. To study spherical mirror in detail, let's see some terms associated with it. One, pole or p. The center of a reflecting surface of a spherical mirror is a point called a pole. 2 center of curvature of spherical mirror c the reflecting surface of a spherical mirror forms a part of a sphere this sphere has a center known as center of curvature 3 radius of curvature r the radius of sphere of which the reflecting surface of a spherical mirror forms a part is called radius of curvature of mirror and 4 principal axis the line joining pole and center of curvature of spherical mirror is called principal axis terms with the help of a ray diagram consider a source of light say sun or torch in front of a concave mirror place a paper such a way that the reflected rays of light direct on it now the light from the sun is converged at a point as a sharp bright spot by the mirror and forms an image on the paper this point is focus of concave mirror as all reflected rays meet on the principal axis it is known as principal focus of the concave mirror focal length is distance of this image from position of mirror that is the distance between pole and principal focus of spherical mirror aperture the diameter of reflecting surface of a spherical mirror is called its aperture for spherical mirrors of small aperture radius of curvature is equal to twice the focal length it means principal focus of spherical mirror lies midway between the pole and the center of curvature formed by spherical mirror depends on the position of the object If object is placed at infinity the image will form at focus and it will be highly diminished point sized real and inverted this is happening because when the ray is parallel to the principal axis coming from the object placed at infinity after reflection will pass through principal focus if the object is placed beyond c the image will form between f and c and it will be diminished real and inverted when a ray is passing through the center of the curvature after reflecting is reflected along the same path when object is placed at c the image will form at c and object will be of the same size real and inverted when a ray is passing through principal focus after reflection will emerge parallel to the principal axis when object is between c and f 
the enlarged real and inverted image will form beyond C. When object is placed at F, the highly enlarged real and inverted image will form at infinity. When object is placed between P and F, enlarged, virtual and erect image will form behind the mirror. Concave mirrors are used in torches, search light and vehicle headlights to get a powerful parallel beam of light. They are used to see large images. Large concave mirrors are used to concentrate sunlight to produce heat in solar furnaces. Let's look at images formed by a convex mirror. When an object is placed at infinite distance from convex mirror, highly diminished, point-sized, virtual and erect image is formed at focus F behind the mirror. When object is placed between infinity and pole P of mirror, diminished, virtual and erect image is formed between P and F behind the mirror. We can see a full-length image of a tall building or a tree in a small convex mirror. Uses of convex mirrors 1. They are commonly used as rear-view mirrors in vehicles. 2. Convex mirrors gives erect, diminished images and have a wider field of view as they are curved outwards and enable drivers to view a much larger area than that would be possible with the plane mirror. New Cartesian Sign Convention for Reflection by Spherical Mirrors In these conventions, pole of a mirror is taken as origin and the principal axis is taken as x-axis of coordinate system. The conventions are 1. The object is always placed to the left of the mirror. 2. Distances parallel to axis are measured from pole of the mirror. 3. Distances measured to the right of origin are taken as positive while those measured to the left of the origin are taken as negative. 4. Distances measured perpendicular to and above the principal axis are positive, while those measured to and below the principal axis are taken as negative. Is given by 1 upon V plus 1 upon U is equal to 1 upon F, where U is distance of the object from the pole. V is the distance of image from pole of the mirror and F is the focal length. Magnification, M, is the ratio of height of image to the height of the object. It is also expressed as ratio of object distance, U, and image distance, V. Negative sign indicates that the image is real. Positive sign indicates that the image is virtual.